Hey everybody, it's Doc. Uh, look, I'm dropping that on you. Uh, it's been a crazy couple of days to start this week, uh, but I'm blessed and I'm excited about the things that are taking place in my life. still disappointed in the state of black America. Being an eternal optimist, I am yet hopeful that at some point the blinders will come off and we will be able to collectively observe uh, what is taking place and in a sense of unification, take action that will produce the results that we so desperately need. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just a couple of weeks off of a workshop that I did for uh, a friend of mine who is the founder and CEO of Wellspring uh, Therapeutic Center. Uh, he, he also is in the field of human behavior and uh, emotional, mental, and psychological healing. Uh, Dr. David Jones uh, asked me to do a workshop for Harris County Sheriff's Office reentry program to do a workshop on uh, epigenetics and adverse childhood experiences and this is a area of science that I immersed myself in primarily initially in an attempt to understand multi-generational trauma and the transmission of multi-generational trauma and it opened up an entirely new world for me of understanding the development of many diseases that plague our communities uh, and how it's tied to genetic performance that is impacted by environmental stress. Uh, this is exacerbated when we're talking about our children. Uh, I am waiting on the workshop footage. The, the, it was filmed and it's in post-production now. I'm waiting on it so I can share that with you guys. Uh, but what we're talking about with adverse childhood experiences are literally epigenetic impact in a child. A child that is still developing emotionally, psychologically and neurologically and the as well as genetically. And these genetic influences have a long-term health implications we probably can just project out and say you know that if a child suffers trauma then there's probably going to be some psychological issues if that trauma uh, that they've experienced is processed uh, appropriately if they don't receive the right type of intervention you can sort of kind of project out that's a common understanding of uh, among anyone who wants to understand and know the impact of trauma that's the very basics that if you don't deal with trauma trauma will plague you on a psychological level it will impact your thinking it will impact your behavior it will impact your ability to build cultivate and sustain relationships build and uh careers and uh long-term success on jobs and, and all that. It, it, it it'll do that what may be less known by the masses is the impact that trauma has on long-term physiological health implications so your physical health uh, as well as some psychological behaviors for instance uh, there are 10 primary adverse childhood experiences that are recognized and each one gets a point they are known as aces each ace point represents a progression in uh, negative environmental impact and so you get four aces 
whatever they may be. Parents breaking up is an ace. Parent being an alcoholic is an ace. Parent being incarcerated is an ace. Abu any form of abuse, any form of neglect are all aces in their own right. So emotional, psychological, and physical abuse are all aces, each one getting a point. So that's three points right there. So once a child gets four aces, they are 12 times more likely to commit suicide at some, I mean, uh, attempt suicide at some point in their life. Uh, they are two and a half more times to uh, develop certain immunodeficiency uh, diseases like lupus. They are four times more likely to develop ischemic heart disease, the number one killer in America. They are four times more likely to become obese, which comes with its own uh, set of problems. And it goes on down the line. All of these different health medications, check this out. They are four and a half times more likely to develop several forms of cancer. And I can go on and on of the implications. And the thing is, there's very little research being levied on this in as it pertains to the black community and the importance of um, creating intervent uh, interventions on the front end, uh, treatment and therapies on the back end. And that's the work that has to be done. Uh, I'm going to continue to push I'm going to continue to challenge. I'm going to continue to uh, sound the clarion that what we are putting our children through in massive numbers is not going to produce the outcome that we constantly scream you want. You're not going to get an empowered people from a broken generation. It's not going to happen. At some point, we're going to have to acknowledge that we're headed in the wrong direction. We're going to have to acknowledge that some things are going to have to be done differently. And in doing that, we start the process of healing. We start the process of change. We start the process of growth. And that's how we get to empowerment. We're not going to wish ourselves into empowerment. We're not going to pray ourselves into empowerment. We're going to have to literally plan, take action, and be actively involved in changing the things that are harming us, starting with things that we control. And as we do that, we make ourselves more internally forceful and we are less vulnerable to external forces. And that's how you become a stronger, more directed, more powerful group. And then you can start talking about liberation and freedom and autonomy and all of these other things. But I am just really challenging everybody. There's work to be done. On that note, I'm going to get off of here. If you believe in the work we're doing at the Odyssey Project and the work we've been doing for over 30 years, um, go into the description box. Um, either click the link or give through the organization's cash app. But we need a lot more work, more work in the area of uh, research, more work in the area of uh, think tanks and problem solving, more area in the work of program development and interventions, uh, wraparound services for our citizens in every area you can imagine, job support, job training, mental health support, uh, dealing with uh, domestic violence. All of this stuff is something that needs uh, masterful attention because understanding this, while I, I love and I really truly care about every black person and I want every black person to be okay, healthy, uh, you have to understand when all these things are going on in the home that's not uh, conducive to health, it's not just impacting the parents, it's devastating the children because they are not at an age where they can process that level of stress. An adult can't effectively process that level of stress over a long period of time. So imagine what it's doing to our children. That's what I'm going to leave you with. I'm going to get off of here and I'm going to take a little moment to step away from everything. And I will talk to you guys later. I'm out.